Welcome back to Traveling with Crushworth. On this episode, Lizzie and I's latest adventure starts in Wales. We're excited to be traveling in Brecon Beacons National Park. History comes alive in this rough, rugged landscape, one of the oldest national parks in Britain. Walk with us up the limestone crag to Carrig Kennan Castle. Follow us as we hike towards the site of a legendary lake. Then we'll descend into the depths of Danarogoth, the spectacular national show caves for Wales. Wander the halls of Manor Home Newton House with us as your guides, and climb the highest towers of Denever Castle. Haunting and dramatically perched on the cliff, we approached Carrick Kennan Castle as the last mists of morning drifted away. We were following in the footsteps of prehistoric people and the Romans who may have been first on this high hill. Together we stood at the imposing walls of the ruined castle, now a jewel of the National Park. While serene and peaceful today, this land has seen bloodshed. All right, we are in Brecon Beacons National Park, and Lizzie, what are we in front of right now? So right now we're in front of Castle Karakennet. And uh, we are about to go in and uh, show you guys everything that we can see. Uh, climbing staircases, going up into towers. It's going to be awesome. So uh, f follow us. We'll show you all the good sights. An ancient place with Rian Reged, a Dark Ages king and contemporary of the legendary Arthur as its mythic founder. The first documented castle at Carrig Kennan was likely built in the 12th century by the Lord Rhys Ap Griffith. The structure seen today, built by King Edward I and demolished after the Wars of the Roses, played host to the drums of rebellion. Fierce fighting led by Welsh independence hero Owain Glyndwr broke out in the early 15th century. Castles fell to the onslaught and the rebels' swift advance trapped the denizens in a besieged Kerrig Kennan. Take the vaulted passageway under the castle to the cave mouth and step back in time itself into its limestone depths. We walked into the darkness guided only by our lights, knowing we weren't the first to explore these paths, seen by the Roman coins found in the bones of four people from the end of the last ice age. A place of folklore, fables say the famed soldier Owan Redhand sleeps under Carrig Kennan until the time he awakes to rally the Welsh. It's actually really cool seeing like the caves underneath the castle too. And we saw some spiders as well, so... Uh, yeah, we saw a honking huge spider. So travelers watch out for that and you'll uh, most likely not be as uh, scared as Crestworth. <laughs> See you later. A perfect meal awaited us at the castle's farm and tea house. Lizzie and I both had the delicious homemade cottage pie made from longhorn beef cattle raised on site at the farm. With such amazing dishes such as cowl, pasties, and a selection of hot drinks and cakes on the menu, let's just say, you must eat here. You've found us driving straight into the pages of the Red Book of Hergest and the Mabinogion, both medieval written accounts of Welsh mythology. We're going to a remote lake pulled straight from an ages-old tale of enchantment. Those roads on the way up are crazy. Uh, Had to stand off with some sheep. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we uh, are sat nav. Actually, uh, where did it take us to? It took us to some farmer's farm. So we stopped by, asked for directions, and ended up here. Yeah, and uh, so uh, I kind of had to get out of the car uh, in and amongst like eight farm dogs and there was a tractor in the way and I, uh, we made quite a scene there, but it was a lot of fun and that's how you make friends. Exactly. <laughs> All right, back to the hike. Glacial Lake Llinavan Bach is nestled under the gaze of a knife shell ridge in the Black Mountain Range. These beautiful wind-swept waters bring us the legend of the Lady of the Lake, a cautionary tale about how abuse can cost a person everything. Married to the magical being who rose from Flinavan Vach, 
This allegory ends with regret and heartbreak after he struck her three times in anger. His promise to be good and kind to her lying in ruins. She returned to the lake from when she came, but not before bearing him three powerful sons. These young men would one day grow to be known as the herbalists, the physicians of Mudfai. We're about to set foot in Dana Rogoff, one of three fascinating caverns that comprise the National Show Caves for Wales. Soak it all in, including the mesmerizing stalactites, stalagmites, and the stunningly beautiful calcite formations formed over hundreds of thousands of years. Explored for the first time by the Morgan brothers in 1912, Dana Rogoff is a fascinating glimpse into our Earth's geologic past. Well underground, we visited a small portion of the cave system, all the while knowing something far bigger stretched out around us. 16 kilometers of passageways. Bow your head when entering the cathedral cave and experience the soaring chambers and thundering waterfalls with us. We were blessed to visit these tremendous sites, including the third and final cavern, the Bone Cave, where 42 prehistoric human skeletons from the Bronze Age, a 7,000-year-old red deer bone, along with 10,000 archaeological finds were located. We're in Denever Park, visiting an ancient landscape that is, in many cases, the lifeblood of Wales. Peer through history with us at Newton House, home to a dynasty of powerful leaders and lords that has shaped this country for centuries. The 17th century manor and the sprawling grounds have long been the ancestral home of the Rice family, descendants of the early Rees line of Welsh princes. Today's building exudes the power and influence of the past. We took a moment to stand at the portraits of Edward and Walter Rice, the latter finishing the home after his brother's untimely death. Yet, as we walked from room to room, Newton House, a National Trust property, slowly unveiled its darker tales to us. Our guided ghost tour started with a surprising reveal, a mummified cat in the floorboards. Placed by the Victorians to ward off evil spirits, this was a fitting start to our foray into the supernatural. Kevin and I steeled our nerves to face the most haunted National Trust home in Wales. Our guide took us to the off-limits top floor, the old stairs creaking as we climbed. It was hard not to think about the ghosts of children, or something darker that supposedly haunt the stairwell. We entered the nursery where the alleged murder of the Lady Eleanor Cavendish occurred. Having rejected a betrothal to a man she didn't love, he followed her and is said to have strangled her with her hair ribbon. Stories say the murderer, consumed with grief, then killed himself. Perhaps his spirit is that which can be seen hanging from the staircase. Even so, visitors say they felt his ethereal hands tightening around their throats when they least suspect it. As you can see, we're still in Newton House, and Lizzie and I are actually looking at the portrait of uh, Lord Ch Ch Charles Talbot, and uh, he is one of the grandfathers, and interesting, he was painted with two left feet, and there's a trick of the light, you can see the devil over his left shoulder. We just found it. Yeah. He's uh, Lizzie. Uh, have you been able to find it? Yeah. I can just see the face, the mouth, and the two eyes. Yeah, he's a very crafty devil, and uh, but we found him, so uh, he has no power over us. All right, so we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you later. The estate at Deneva has witnessed centuries of human history. Yet, in a fascinating twist, a cattle herd on site has long been connected with a powerful king who codified Welsh laws in the 10th century. Howell Dye, King of the Britons, enabled White Park cattle 
as a form of compensation for wrongs committed against the House of Deneva. Today, we know this iconic breed has grazed upon these parklands for 1,000 years. Archaeologists located what remains of a prehistoric, fortified farmstead and two earth and timber Roman forts. These lands whisper about the Reese dynasty and their shifting loyalties to the English kings, power struggles, mythic connections, charges of treason, and Rhys Ab Thomas, a nobleman said to have killed Richard III in battle. Deneva Park, a national nature reserve, is worth protecting. We loved our visit, knowing that some of the trees are 700 years old. It's here, on these tranquil grounds, crowned by Newton House and Deneva Castle, that the story of Wales unfolds, one chapter at a time. All right, welcome back everyone. So we have been walking through the Deer Park, and where, where else have we been uh, adventuring? Uh, so we've also been adventuring in the Bogwood Boardwalk. <laughs> yes, it's a little hard to say, but now we're on our way up to Deneva Castle. But as you can see, we have quite the hill to go up. Yeah, all right, so onwards and upwards as they say. Lizzie and I are marching straight into the past. Our destination, the towers of ancient Denever Castle. Welsh kings and princes ruled this land, fought over for centuries after the collapse of Roman-controlled Britain. Their strength was rising, their reigns often tumultuous. One name stood out to us, Howell Dye who ruled from Denever in the 10th century prior to the Normans. Everything changed when Henry II granted control of South Wales to the Lord Rees in the 12th century, ushering in the first stone castles at Denever and Kerrig Kennan. Well, this castle is phenomenal. And as you can see, Lizzie's ahead of me somewhere. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's hard not to feel like I'm patrolling up here, like you know, like oh. <gasps> now I'm just kidding. The kingdom was transformed by a cultural renaissance of music and poetry under the Lord Rees's rule, but the minstrel songs that may have sounded in the court are now only memories. Just the wind blows here now at the sight of this ruined yet still proud former seat of power. Upon Lord Rees's death, the question of his succession led to dark, violent times. Denever Castle was strengthened by subsequent princes, Rees's son and grandsons, before falling to English forces under Edward I in the 13th century. For Lizzie and I, nothing was more clear to us as we explored every corner. Denever Castle commanded our attention. Thank you for watching this Brecon Beacons National Park episode of Traveling with Crushworth. To follow us to Cardiff and Region, click the link to the left. Let us know what parts of Wales you fell in love with. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it and don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on. Thanks for watching and see you next time.